and welcome to Wild Heart Yoga Holistic Healing. I am Hannah Ray, and today I have for you about 25 minutes gentle flow that is intended for deep release and nerve flossing of the neck, uh, shoulders, upper back area. So a lot of times when we get injured in that area, our tendency is to want to overstretch, pull on the head and neck, and really that's the opposite of what we want to be doing because we need stability in the necks. A lot of times when we have that pain in the upper body, uh, it's because of nerves adhering to the fascia. And so what we really want to do to release that is some holds with some really small movements that slowly move and work that uh, nerve loose, free from those adhesions. And we're also going to be doing some chest opening holds at the end that are going to help release the shoulders in the front because the slump forward also contributes to that pain in the back, which many of us have from poor posture, driving like this, all the other things we do that cause our shoulders to slump forward throughout the day. So we're gonna be using some blocks today. If you have some, I'd recommend it. If uh, you don't, you can always use some books or something else about that height will do. But um, if you don't have blocks, you can still do this without, that, without any as well. So with that being said, grab your mat, let's get started. Hello and welcome to this 25 minute class for neck and shoulder release. We are going to begin in our child's pose today. So starting at the back of the mat on your heels, legs slightly spread apart, go ahead and slowly walk your arms forward, bring your forehead towards the mat. And if you can't reach the mat with your forehead today, you can always place a block or two under your forehead, or you can also place a block between your thighs and your calves if you're having trouble keeping your glutes grounded to the heels or if this is hard on your knees. Once you find the modification that works for you, Go ahead and get settled in there, reaching those fingertips a little bit further towards the end of the mat with every exhale and allowing that sternum to just sink towards the ground. While you're here, just take a few slow, deep breaths as you get settled in and set your intention for today's practice. On your next exhale, see if you can reach those fingertips a little bit further ahead of you one more time. Good, and release now, walking the hands back up, bring the knees together, place your forehead back on the mat, and this time we're gonna put the back of our hands on our low back for a different child's pose variation. And while you're here, I want you to think about actively pulling your elbows down towards the mat. So this is not a passive stretch. We are pulling those elbows down, deepening the stretch through the shoulders and the back of the arms. Take this a bit further with every exhale. Imagine pulling those elbows down a little bit further. And as you inhale, let them rise up just slightly, creating a little back and forth motion to floss some of the nerves in our shoulders and back. Good, now staying in your child's pose, interlace your hands behind you, pointing your index fingers up towards the sky, taking an arm extension here. Then as you exhale, allow your arms to fall towards the right, left shoulders lifting up towards the sky. With every exhale, try to point those fingers a little closer towards the ground, taking a deep stretch into our left shoulder and our rib cage here. Good, now inhale back to neutral and exhale as you allow the arms to fall towards the left side now. This time right shoulders lifting up and out. Imagining pointing those fingers closer and closer towards the ground with every exhale. Inhaling fresh oxygen, exhaling away tension. Good, come back to neutral, release the arms now. Place your palms back on the mat as you press your way up to tabletop for some cat cows. As we inhale, round the spine up, pushing the hips forward, tucking the chin. And as you exhale, allow the belly to drop, looking up. And here we want our wrists stacked below the shoulders and our hips above the knees, making sure we're staying square. And just continue to move like this to the speed of your own breath for a few moments. Inhaling as you look up, sinking the belly down, and exhaling as you round forward, creating that beautiful arch in your back. 
Inhale as you look up, maybe taking a few shifts of the hips and side body, side to side. And exhale as you round. Good, one more time. Allow that belly to sink down as you look up. And release to neutral, coming back to your tabletop. Now go ahead and place the back of your left hand on your low back and then turn your chest up towards the sky, looking up, turning that chest up and out and thinking about pulling that elbow back slightly. We are getting deep into the chest, the front shoulder and even our back here. While you're here, it's also important to make sure you're keeping your hips square to the front of the mat. So this twisting should be happening more from the belly button. Good, release. Let's take it to the other side now. So now we are placing the back of our right hand on our low back, pulling the elbow back as we turn our chest and shoulder up towards the sky, being conscious of connecting our breath still, tuning in to where tension is being held. With every exhale, imagining that tension just melting away. Good, now release. And now make your way to seated at the center of your mat, coming cross-legged into our easy seat. Once you get settled, inhale the arms up, twist to the right, planting one hand on the mat behind you and your left hand on your knee for a gentle twist here. Once you get into this position, Go ahead and take a few micro movements of the neck, rocking it up and down just slightly, finding the area of tension for you. The exact positioning of this may speak to you differently than it does to me, so make sure that you're experimenting with it, playing around with the movements of your head here. But the key is to make these movements just small when you find the area that you feel tension and just slightly take that movement back and forth, connected to your breath, loosening up some of these adhesions of the nerves. Good. Now I want you to just hold your neck in the position where you have the most tension, whatever position is speaking most to you. And for the rest of the time here, we're just going to hold it, continuing to breathe deeply. Very good, and release. Let's take it to the other side now. So inhale as you reach the arms up, and as you exhale, twist to the left this time. So now your right hand is coming on your left knee, and your left hand is reaching behind you on the mat. Making sure you're keeping your spine tall and long here. And then once again, begin playing around with the motions of your neck here, taking small movements up and down, finding those areas of tension on this side. Also, maybe take note of whether this side feels different than the other side, becoming aware of areas of imbalance in your body. Go ahead and just hold this position statically now, once you find that area of tension that speaks to you. Taking just a few more slow and deep breaths here before we release. Very good, release now. Shake out the shoulders a little if you need to. Now roll the shoulder blades back and down. And sweep the arms up, palms facing towards the sky, looking up. Exhale as you drive the elbows down, chin comes to chest. Inhale as arms sweep forward. Exhale as you drive the elbows back, chin to chest again. A few times like this, moving at your own speed, connecting your breath with movement here. 
As we sweep the arms forward, we are feeling an opening between the shoulder blades. And as we pull the arms back, we're squeezing those shoulder blades back together. It's really important here to make sure about keeping those shoulder blades rolled down and back, besides when we're sweeping the arms forward, of course, and that, as that's going to help really floss those nerves, keep the sensation in the area of the shoulders and upper back like we're going for. All right, let's do it one more time. Inhale as you look up, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, driving the elbows down. Inhale as the arms sweep forward. And exhale, drive the elbows back, palms facing out ahead of you. Go ahead and just take a few head tilts here. We'll just be here for about 30 more seconds or so. So just take your time, checking in with yourself, noticing if the tension is different on one side of the body than the other while you're here. Just take a few more deep breaths before we move on to our next exercise. Very good, now release. Now we're going to take our left arm, reach it up our back, reaching for our upper back here. And if you can't get your arm that high, that's perfectly fine. Just reach it as far as you can. Take your right arm, reach for your left tricep and tilt your head towards your right shoulder as you exhale. Every inhale, imagining the oxygen moving to that area of tension, breathing into that area of tension. With every exhale, imagining that tension melting away. Once again, as we are here, think about keeping those shoulder blades rolled down and back so you're keeping good alignment posture with the shoulders here. Maybe imagining as you're sitting here that there's a string pulling you up to the sky, keeping your spine tall and long. more time exhale as you tip the ear towards your shoulder and let's hold it here for the remainder of our time here just a few more deep breaths very good now on your next exhale release the arms and let's take it to the other side so now we're reaching that right arm back of the hand, up the middle back, grabbing onto that tricep with the left arm and tilting the head to the left shoulder now. Continuing to keep this movement controlled, mindful, connecting that breath with movement. And this is something we don't want to overdo, so that's why we aren't doing this for too long and also why it's important to make sure you aren't forcing that head over. Be gentle with yourself. Make sure you aren't causing pain. Some discomfort is all right, but we don't want pain as we do this. On your next exhale, tip that ear to the shoulder and let's hold it here for the remainder of our time. One more deep inhale and exhale as you release the arms now, giving those shoulders a few rolls again. All right, now plant your right fingertips to your side. Left arm reaches out. As you exhale, tip your ear towards your right shoulder as your fingertips pull up on that left hand. As you inhale, head comes back to neutral, fingertips point down. Again, as you're here, just move to the speed of your own breath, making this your own practice. And again, we want to make sure the shoulder blades are pulled down and back here. That's gonna make a difference in the sensation. Last one like this, and then keep the arms in the same position, but this time we're gonna roll the head, making a half circle with the head. As the chin comes to the chest, fingertips are gonna roll forward, turning the palm. And as you sweep the head back and around, fingertips are gonna point back behind you. And you can make this half circle with your head as big or as small as feels right for you. If you have a lot of restrictions through these nerves, 
You may not be able to make as big of movements here and that's perfectly fine. Just continue listening to your body, working with where you're at today. Good, now release and let's take it to the other side. So now left fingertips are beside us, right arm extends out. And again, we're gonna pull those fingertips up toward the sky as you exhale, dropping that left ear towards your left shoulder. Once again, remembering to keep those shoulder blades rolled down and back here. Take about one more head tip toward the side as the fingertips pull up. And then let's begin taking our half circle rotations with the head and neck now. Again, fingertips rolling forward as the chin comes to the chest and rolling backwards behind you as the head rolls back. Wrist is flexed through this whole motion. And release now, very good. Now go ahead and sweep the arms up toward the sky as you inhale. And then we're gonna intertwine the hands together, clasping your hands with every exhale. Bend those elbows, bringing your hands down as far as you can, but keeping your head through the window that your arms are making here. If you can't bring your hands down very far today while doing this, don't worry about it, that's perfectly fine. Just any little bit of movement here is going to be beneficial in helping loosen up some of those nerve adhesions. So just keep working with where you're at today. Don't worry about it if you're not getting quite as much movement as I am. This is definitely something that comes with time. All right, let's go ahead and switch hands now. So now you have the other hand in front and we're gonna continue with the same motion here. Continuing to breathe through this. When you get that feeling of wanting to stop or come out of a pose or a position that is causing some level of discomfort that's when it's really important to be connecting that breath a lot of times when we feel discomfort our tendency is to want to hold our breaths and that causes us to tighten up all right release the arms now raise the arms up this time we're going to put the right elbow over the left elbow and intertwine the hands as well for our eagle arms as you exhale bow forward and as the arms are in this position we're actively pushing and pulling together to create a separation a stretch in that shoulder blade area good now exhale as you reach the arms back inhale as you bring the other elbow on top now interlace in those palms as well if you can take a slight arch to the back maybe and exhale as you dive back down continuing at your own pace each time as you reach the arms back, remembering to keep those shoulder blades down and back for a good posture. Switching which arm is on top for our eagle arms each time. Very good, last time reach the arms back and relax, taking a few shoulder or head rolls here. And we're gonna transition onto our knees now in the middle of our mat. We're going to take a puppy pose here. And you have the option of using some blocks. If you don't have blocks today or a stack of books, then you can do this without blocks as well. What I'm going to do here is make sure that my hips are stacked above the knees. Then I'm going to place my elbows onto the blocks 
and let my sternum fall towards the mat. Now you can either have your arms out extended ahead of you, if you're able to bring your hands into a prayer position, then up overhead, then a few times we're just going to make this movement back and forth, exhaling as you bring those hands up overhead, and inhale as you lower them back down ahead of you. If this is too difficult today, then just keep the arms extended ahead of you. If you have been doing the movements of the hands of prayer up and down, then go ahead and hold it now with the hands of prayer overhead for the remainder of our time here. If you want to take this a bit further, then you can place your chin on the mat instead of your forehead and look ahead. That will take this just a little bit deeper, allowing your sternum to fall a little bit closer towards the floor. Only about 20 seconds left here. Keep being mindful of that breath, breathing into the areas of tension. On your next exhale, go ahead and bring yourself out of this puppy pose, coming back to all fours, removing the blocks if you're using them. Then go ahead and make your way down to your belly on the mat. And now I'm gonna have two different options for you. So the first is to stay laying on your stomach, reaching that right arm under the chest. Left arm can be placed under your forehead or reach the arm out ahead of you. This is a bit more of a gentle option as we get into that shoulder. If you want to go a bit deeper into the shoulder and even to the back for a bit more of a twist, then we're going to do a thread the needle. So coming up to your knees, kind of like our puppy pose, but this time you're going to reach the arm under. And if you want to look under that left arm, you're able to do that also, or you can keep your forehead flat on the mat. So a few options here. Go ahead and release now, bring it to the other side. And again, we have a few different variations. So you can start laying on your stomach or you can start right in the thread the needle if you want to skip right to that position. If you want to take a little more time in these poses as well, feel free to just pause this video. This is your practice, so cater it to your own needs and practice accordingly. If you are taking your thread the needle pose, then while you're here, go ahead and look back at your legs, making sure that the knees are staying stacked under the hips, keeping that nice vertical line. And again, you can keep your forehead planted on the mat or turn your head to the side, looking under that armpit, taking a further twist here. But make sure that twisting is coming from the belly button so the hips are still staying square to the front of the mat. Very good, go ahead and come out of this now, making your way to seated on the mat. Very good, now if you don't have blocks, go ahead and just take a regular Shavasana. But if you do have blocks, then find the height that works for you. I like to keep my blocks one stack sideways on top of the other because I have a long torso and a pretty flexible back. But once you find the height that works for you, you want to place the blocks around your mid back region between the shoulder blades and then go ahead and lay back over the blocks, looking back behind you for a deep heart opener here. So arms are resting at our sides, palms facing the sky. And just continue to breathe deeply here, noticing how your body feels different than it did at the beginning of this practice. And as you're here, see if you can find a deeper state of relaxation, exhaling away any remaining tension with every breath. This posture right now over the blocks is something that I like to practice daily. I try to do this as I do yoga nidra or meditation because I'm fairly used to this position now. Uh, I find that it is really helpful in countering poor posture that I have throughout the day, especially from driving or sitting at a desk and that slumping forward a lot. 
So this is a excellent posture to get in the habit of practicing regularly to help improve your posture and alignment. Take one more deep inhale, filling the belly with air. And exhale as you make your way back up to seated, coming across legged in the center of the mat as you finish with one closing breath together. Inhale as you sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center, bowing down, thanking yourself for taking the time for this practice today. Thank you so much for checking out today's class. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was able to provide you even the smallest bit of relief for your pain. Uh, if you enjoyed this class, please do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button. That is the best way to support this channel and also a great way to stay up to date with all my classes. You can also hit that bell icon if you'd like to be notified as they're released. Thanks again, friends. I will see you soon. Namaste.